I'd like to welcome you back to Final Fantasy XIV. Today I'm not going to do a camera, because that was more of a test to see if I cared the way I was doing things, which, eh, I'm still going to mess with it, but nah, I don't feel like it doing it this time. But yeah, now we're going to continue on with the main story, which we're done with the Hanu Hanu and the Pela Pelu Pelu. So we're done with those two. We got two keystones. Now let's continue what about the success of others. Walk Lamont, let's talk, shall we? Walk Lamont is eager to attempt the next feat, which is going to give me some Swamp Monk, which is great for determination and vitality. All right. Mm -hmm. oh, I have to turn you off. I really have to see if there's a setting for when it's voiced. It does it automatically. We've won, uh, we have won keystones from both the feet of reeds and the feet of gold. Surely that means our approach to the contest was the right one. So it would seem, by continuing to retrace Galujaja's journey as presented in the saga, we should find the remaining electors in turn. Then let's visit the giants next. Like Cryo said, the fact that we're searching for the Golden City might, me might mean they know something useful. The home of the Yakhoi is in the upper reaches of the Okapaka. Unless you're you unless you're Oh, unless you're keen I thought I said keep. Unless you're unless you're keen on scaling the cliffs, we'd have to take the long way around through Kazmauka. This route will take us closer to the Amablin village, which is another important location in the saga. Since we'll need all the keystones eventually, it makes sense to pay them a visit as we're passing through. So we'll call on the Moblins first then. Let's head there right now. I'm afraid right now is gonna be a problem. You don't say. Why? Oh, okay. I immediately see a problem. The fight of Wee Wingless. The flight of Wee Wingless, the great stairs leading to the Moblin settlement, collapsed in the storm. Well, that's the name of the stairs. It's like, I never heard of that. What are we to do then? This is an alternative, but it requires preparation. Until it's ready, you could rest in the cabins or see more of the city, whatever you prefer. Maybe I'll change my outfit. Just to be sure, you'll accept any method of travel as long as it gets us to our destination. Of course, what do you take me for? Hmm, as your guide, I will see to the arrangements. Hmm. Well, it seems we have some free time on our hands. Let's make the most of it. Yeah, I could change my outfit, even though I absolutely love what I'm wearing. But, hey, to spice things up, I can always change it. I need to get my axe repaired. I nicked the blade pretty badly when I took a swing at Bakul Jaja. This, that reminds me, I never got around to introducing you to Ropley, did I? He's the man in charge of, oh god, oh jeez, Waku Mikimi. Wait, Waku... Okay, wa, who, wachu mi kimi ki, wachu ka, wachu mi kimi mi, and he, and a good person to know. Want to come along? I got no choice, do I? But let's go. Off we go. Well, yeah, maybe I'll see what I have in my storage chest. Oh, where is she? She's supposed to be here. There she is. I'll be back momentarily. I actually am going to go to the Glamour Dresser. <laughs> Would that be here? Here? Wait, summoning bell. Or is it over here? Oh yeah, it's okay. As much as I absolutely love this outfit, I'm just gonna see if there's anything else I feel like popping on. Hello. I like to retire to my room for a moment. Thank you, ma'am. Well, while I'm doing this, let's pop something on the orchestration roll. What do I have? Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, wait, wait. First, let me put this in here. Oh, actually, I started that in the armorer. I can. Okay, actually, is great. Alright, get rid of that. Where are you? Ah. Oh, I have a head. Oh, I forgot I had that on. 
Alright, let's see what we got. So I'm wearing that right now. This chest piece is actually really nice. Same with this. Eh, I'm about to die that if I wear it. That isn't bad. Hmm. I could also wear a Scion's Adventures outfit. Also, if you're wondering, yes, I have this. Don't ask me why, and no, I'm not going to keep wearing it, but here you go. The uh, 2 B set, just for you. Yeah, no, I'm going to pass on that. I could wear my Rathalos stuff, but eh. I need to equip that, please, for the love of God. It looks so wrong. Put some random pants on there. That looks wrong. Do I have that entire set? I do not, but those gloves still go with it. Or I can just wear the Gunbreaker set, honestly. It looks nice. I can go with the Gunbreaker set for now. It actually does look really good. And then here, let me show you the gun blades I have at the moment. I have this, I got the Hyperion, I got the Crown's Blade, I got the Lionheart, and the Bay Blade. And then... Uh, is it in here? Ah, oh, yeah, the Revolver. Final Fantasy VIII, Squall's Gunblade. Simple, easy, but yeah. Take it off because I want to use the one blade I have on at the moment. But yeah, I could wear this for a bit. Even though I'm... Eh, I don't know. It, I, I'm very picky with fashion sometimes. I would wear this, but this is more of a warrior set. This would be fine, but that's more of a paladin thing. I don't know. We'll just cancel it for now. Yeah, it was worth looking, but there's nothing in there that really intrigues me to put on at the moment. I'm gonna sort that. Alright. You'll have to forgive me for wasting your time. Oh, let's get going. Uh, I'll change my outfit when I get to level, I'm gonna say, 95. Uh, I'll... Because I am going to get new equipment throughout this expansion. I'm only level 91, have yet to even do a dungeon. And I will probably be wearing a set later in the future that I will be getting for free. And then I can use that instead of this. Alright, walk them up. Let's go. Ready? The marketplace of I am not... I'm going to try again. Waku Mekimiki. Waku Mekimiki. Waku Mekimiki are to the east on the other side, the base side bevy. Okay, let's go, walk them up. We're immediately teleporting. Oh, there's a dialogue option over here, though. Um, honestly, it's faster to walk. Bayside Bevy. My game's lagging a little bit, which is a shame. Ooh, so is the Yuna outfit. Nice. I wish I got the Titus one, but then again, it would not look good in my character. I have the Zidane outfit, the Squall outfit, and all that too. Uh, those are login um, rewards. After a while, though, they won't give you any more. This is Aunt T T's Tacos, named for its owner here. Lovely Tis Tissot. If you're after the best tacos in Tilliel, the best, the, this place sits at the top with. Oh man, this expansion and its names are killing me! It's about tea. Tai. You say that third promise, but you only ever eat a Brock Evu's food. Come and buy mine for a change. Sorry, Tiso. It has been a while, hasn't it? I swear I'll stop by for a bite once the contest is over. Damn. 
Come on down to Tea's Tacos. We got a wide range of options from healthy to hearty, plus a variety of salsas to choose from. This is our flagship location, by the way, or at least it will be. Well, I get around opening the second branch. <laughs> Man, so this place loves their tacos. I'm about to say something scandalous, everybody. I'm not a fan of tacos. Yep, I said it. Ropley. Ropley. Ropley? I'm gonna say Ropley. I'm gonna sip my drink while I'm waiting. Mm hmm. Ah, oh, better. My mind, the third promise. How might I assist you this fine evening? Well met, Ropley. I need to buff a nasty nick out of my axe blade. Yes, it's been chipped quite terribly. Trying to cleave rocks again, were we? Eh, something like that. I think you can fix it. Wait, so you've been attacking rocks before? You stand among Turl's most pre prestigious gathering of artisans and ask this question? It's his child's play. We'll have it prepared for you in two shakes of an alpaca's tail. Good to hear. I believe in your capable hands. Who's your companion, if I may ask? This is Bader, a great adventurer I recruited from across the salt. I brought him here to meet you, actually, though he might have a reason to visit Wakumekiki sooner or later. Then allow me to introduce myself. I am Ropley, humble representative of this grand central center trade. A pleasure to meet you, Bader. Hey. You there, stop fiddling in the shadows and announce your business already. Oh. I have no idea who you are. Green haired man. Hmm. I've seen that man somewhere before. Me? I have not. Wait, the boat? Is it the boat? Aha! It was the boat. I'm shocked I remembered that. I'm like, wait, the only place I know that we might have seen people that might pop up now is the boat. A jewelry maker you met on the voyage over? Oh, I remember. I spoke to him too. Ponje Tain. Yes, that was his name. You've been loitering, loitering like a flighty admirer who can't pluck up the courage to confess his feelings. Out with it then. Why are you here? Ah, yeah. That is to say... Oh, well, okay, he's gone. Uh, we're no closer to solving that enigma. Hmm, I wonder if he could use someone to talk to. I'd say we go and ask. Let me know by Link Pearl if you find him first. So, if you're bringing me here and this shop's important, does that mean... Oh, uh, strip exchange. Ah, uh -huh. are you the crafting shop? Because the script exchange is the crafting shop. Does that mean... Hmm, okay, so this is gonna be the important side of town. Look at that gun blade. Wow, that looks thin though. Looks like it's ready to snap. I'm sorry, but for me, a gun blade needs to have some thickness to it. Because one, you're hitting... Well, thickness, but it has to be sharp. Because one, you're hitting enemies with the blade. And two, you're also firing off a cartridge, which will make the blade vibrate. You want to at least be kind of thick so it can withstand the vibration. Oh, right! I forgot about this. So I got Encyclopedia Eorzea Volume 3. I got the first two volumes. I got Volume 3. Uh, I have a minion. Thank you. Yeah. So I got a new minion. I don't think I'll really use it because I want to use a Garnet. I keep wanting to call her Dagger because that's the name, well, she goes by most of Final Fantasy IX because it's her undercover name. She basically inherits fully for quite a while. I mean, no matter what, when she's in your party, uh, no matter what you name her, of course, but if you go with Dagger, she is, unless it's like a special cutscene, she is always Dagger. Oh man, I should really play Play 9 one day. With, of course, the, uh... Oh, hey, buddy. With the, uh, Memoria mod and Alternate Fantasy. 
you are conversing with Master Ropley. Oh wait, we've met some- oh, we met before, haven't we? On the ship. Okay, you're not running away, that's a good sign. Oh no, don't tell me he has a crush on, uh, Waklamot. You found him? Good, I'll- Oh, you found him? Good, I'll be right- No, because he was hanging by the shops the entire time. Well, we'll see. Let's see his reaction. Why are you run off like that? Do you have business ropely or not? Please, you need to concern yourself with my affairs. I'm under undeserving of your of such attention. What? Huh? What are you going on about? I beg of you, do not ask me to explain. Do not. Sorry. But the more you tell me not to, the more curious I become. Besides, you look like you need a friend. You are too kind. So be it. I suppose I can share with you a morsel of my misery. Before I came to Turley, I worked as a goldsmith at the most prestigious jewelry maker of all Oda. Ashtain's Aesthetics. Oh, it started off well enough. But as the days passed, everything began to go wrong. Compared to the masterpieces of my talented colleagues, my products were lacking. Mediocre. I lost all confidence. Crippling doubt has possessed me. And any veneer of bravado I tend to put forth soon crack beneath its weight. Thus did I take a ship hoping to find fresh beginning on new shores. Yet as you witness, I lack the courage to even pro approach a potential employer. You stand before a man wallowing in wreckage of his ill-spent ex ex existence. Uh, alright then. You offered a morsel and served us a full course. Okay, so it was the shop. For a second there, I thought of something else. So, yeah, he's the artisan jeweler guy. You must really want someone to hear your story. If you'd like, I could give you a few words of advice. Then, you have experience with my predicament? Of feeling terribly inadequate compared to your undeniably superior peers? Yes, actually! Her brothers! Well, when you put it that way, I, uh... Yeah, she's going to see her brothers, how one is made way more wise, and that one's way more powerful and more battle-hardened her. So, yeah. <laughs> Not me! I'm Waklumat, third promise of Turlio. Daughter of the Dawn Servant. Uh, of course you are. You're a member of the royal family. Please, forgive my presumptuousness. But what of you? Have you ever measure, measured your work against that of your colleagues and found yourself wanting? And this is where I say yes to... Mm, you can't measure your worth on the success by the success of others. There have been many people stronger in the warrior light and more to serve more. Yeah. How can I not? Should my work not meet the same... Uh, same exacting standards. No, new commissions will be forthcoming. What's the point of my becoming a goldsmith? What, you want to be Godbert? <laughs> you can't be Godbert. You're not good enough for Godbert. Hmm, looking back, it was my father who inspired me to take up the trade. The ex exquisite creations brought radiant smiles to the faces of his clients, and I admired him deeply for it. But, in the course of striving to be a great goldsmith as him, I lost sight of my mo original motivation. All I ever want to do is spread joy through my craft, as he did. Perhaps... Perhaps I'll give this one last try. Thank you both for reminding me of what truly is important. I swear if you're like Hildebrand's stepbrother, I'm going to laugh. The only goldsmith I can think of is Godbert Manderville. What is truly important? One day I need to replay those quests and record them because, man, they're a blast. One of the best parts of the game are the Hildebrand ones for me. Oh, they're hilarious. She's thinking about her and her brothers and how she measures up to them. Oh, sorry, Vader. I didn't mean to ignore you. But yes, I'm glad to see... Bon Chintain. Bon Chintain is giving himself another chance. I am too. We're getting a pretty decent amount of XP from these at least. What's the first dungeon? 
Brawl Turlio. Oh, Tur Turali. Brawl Turali. Buckle Met wonders how Fon Fongenton, Fongenton is getting on. I can't help but wonder how Fongenton will follow through. Let's see if he's actually gone to talk with Ropalee. Listen. Nah, I have nothing to say. I was gonna say, walk, do not compare yourself to your brothers. Sure, they've done great things, but you so far are showing that you are more deserving of Dawn's servant, for you are taking the time of learning of the people and being with the people, working for the people. All right, let's talk to Ropley first. Our lurker seems a changed man. I'm not sure if he, if it is, if it even is the same man. Well, at least he's talking to Ropley. We could do this Fontaine. Fontaine. It was kind of you to come, but you need Mori. I found my courage. That's right, man. You might get rejected, though. I got a feeling this might end a rejection. You got this. Okay. Uh -uh. Pray accept my apologies from my earlier behavior. My name is Fontaine. I'm a goldsmith from Uldan, far away Eorzea. I realize this is a bold request, but I should like to continue practicing my trade here in Wachu Makiki. If you will have me, I only ask for the opportunity to bring happiness to others with my creations. So that's what it's about. You're looking for work. Consider yourself hired. Wachu Makiki is always in need of skilled craftsmen and women. I'll handle the necessary paperwork. Can you start tomorrow? Hey, good for you, man. Yes. Yes, of course. I must thank you both again for your sage and timely... Oh, no, I'm not sage right now. I'm a gun breaker. That's uh, off screen when I'm doing my roulettes. I don't know... I don't know that I... W I don't know that I was that all that helpful. But you were. Had you not come to speak with me, I would not... I would not have had that moment of much needed self reflection. Oh. And I take it this is Aaronville? The arrangements have been made. Come and meet me at the entrance of the High Tide Harbor. Oh no, we're sailing. He's getting seasick again. Oh, I almost forgot. Do you have my axe ready, Ropley? Ready and waiting. Behold the sublime touch of the Waku Makiki artisan. I'm hoping I say I'm that right, because I'm going with it. Even though I think I'm missing a few letters. Oh, it's as sharp and deadly as the first day I held it. Thank you. Well, good luck to you, Fontaine. Let me know if that doubt creeps back, and, and I'd be happy to talk you out of it. As for us, we should head to the harbor when we'll keep Aaronville waiting. Okay, so are you gonna craft like my the? Are you gonna be like the material men, the material mender for level 100 gear? I got a feeling you might pop back up, Fontaine. I know better than hold myself to impossible standards. The only thing that matters is the joy a craft can bring. I, I is the joy my craft can bring to others. Okay. How far of a walk? Not far. Okay. God, my tongue is up. Oh, yeah. That's a chick. Alright, let's go. Oh, look at the dog. Okay. Alright, where are we sailing? I'd say. All the way all that waiting was making me hung make me hungry. So I tried the tacos for both They believe tea and ant pills. Tea and teas. I think I prefer tea soul spicier flavors. I want to re-examine the Tuliol Saga. Should we continue apace, we shall soon come face to face, or rather face to knee, those enormous yokoi. I am told of the- I am told some of them tower over in the hulking Gujaja. I wonder what Airvel's alternative means of travel is. Well, probably a ship. 
I wonder if, I've wondered through the bayside markets I've found earrings almost identical to mine. They indeed seem to be common travel charm. This is the Mablu described. Alright, time to probably get on a boat and start sailing. Oh, she's gonna love it. Enough of the secrets, eh? What's the big plan of yours? Look there. That is my big plan. Or is it an animal? A, a whale? A dolphin? Oh, no. It, it, oh. It's a boat carried by fish. What? What is that? It looks like a... It's a... Punity. She'll be pulling our boat upriver. Punity? How do we know she won't thrash about and sink us instead? They're gentle and timid creatures. For the most part, she's unlikely to cause a fuss unless you give her the reason to do so. Also, you have to forgive me. I do add words sometimes. Just my brain. First up, Pekka is now Punities. We're relying on a lot of animals for this journey. We should be thankful we have an animal expert as our guide then. But, did it have to be by, be my old nemesis, another boat? Well, I took you for someone who was up for, for uh, to the challenge. Was I wrong? Ugh. Long ago, when fight, fighting still raged between the clans, the inhabitants of Cosma Uka, Cosma Uka rode these riverboats to move swiftly through hostile territory. But the vessels see little use with Turl now at peace, so I was able to borrow one of the few which remain. I did consider a dirigible, but the pilots warned me that the updrafts near the falls would make landing difficult. So we're swimming upriver, basically, with a giant fish. You said he borrowed one, yet they appear to be several in the water. That's true, he did say one. Kona. Well, at least he smiles when he sees his sister. That's at least a nice gesture. Uh, oh god, Lamati. Traveling up river, I presume. Seems that way. Does that mean you've earned two keystones already? I can't believe how well you managed despite undertaking the contest alone. I was never alone. I had my own entourage for me since the beginning. My friends, it's been, well, not that long. Oh, is he work? Are they working with him, Kona? Hey, Grid, Arianje, what are you doing here? Escorting a promise, the same as you. I heard so much of, I heard, I heard much of my uh, incomparable Arkans during the time at the stadium. As soon as the contest was confirmed, I thought who better to recruit my cause. I contacted the Skalark, who arranged an introduction with, to these two gentlemen. The second promise has specific requirements. They who would be his assistants must boast both proven survival skills and mastery of the arcane arts. Thus did Thanker and I receive the summons. My own studies consecrated on technology, which our people could readily use such as inventions born of magic or clever engineering. Where magic was concerned, I covered only the foundation. Knowing you two, I expect you had other reasons for accepting the job. A few, the nation of Tilial spans an entire continent. Depending on who wins the throne, the world may be plunged into inst instability once more. It ever ha have we striven to preserve peace? Where is our place, if not here and now? We did our due diligence, of course, and made sure of one who we're working with before agreeing to this endeavor. He's even more opaque than the Ranger at times, but it is surprisingly. That's quite enough of that. We must be on our way. Alright, yeah, I'm fine if this guy wins. He has these two with him. Wait, I have one question before you leave. Kona Wakuma 
are vying for the throne. As Kola's entourage, does that mean you resolve to beat all his opponents, including us? We sworn to do it. We sworn to do all in our power to win this contest for Kona, even if it means competing against our own comrades. We intend to hold nothing back and expect you to do the same. Ah, uh -huh. but we won't disappoint you. All right, so that's how they're gonna get the players of the other, the main story into the game. I thought you were t taking a boat. If even you have been forced to travel on longer, then the others will be doing the same. I would rather walk than risk confrontation on a leaky barge with no possible possibility of retreat. Wise. Because the big guy and her other brother... Eh, it's true that I can't stand boats. But I trust the route Aaronvale has chosen for us. Oh, eh. Leave the handling of the punity to me. Should other wildlife attack us, however, I may have difficulty keeping her under control. Do your best to draw them away as far from the front of the boat as possible. Oh, great. So I'm going to be attacking while the boat sails. Ooh, that actually really sounds nice. Got like a Final Fantasy uh, VI little raft thing, which shall remain at the dock and stand guard. Although it may be wise to have at least one of us sit up front with Aaronville just in case. Should we cry, maybe? Yeah. I like to stay on the deck. I mean, oh, never mind. I was wrong. So, Alizé, then. I like to stay on the deck. I'm eager to put my pictomancy to the proof. And I'll take any chance to show you that I can hold my own on the battlefield. Well, I'm in the elf node. He's the healer. Then Kryl will stand guard with Baker. I'll... Yep, okay. Yeah, so she... Is gonna okay okay so yeah alpha ah is this a dungeon no i don't think so i think it's gonna be an instance sorry i'm thinking i'll keep aaronville company with then with my blade i can respond more quickly to threats and alpha note true you can cast spells quickly too because you're a red mage thank you if a fight breaks out i'll try and stay out of your way then I shall endeavor to provide aid where it's needed. I can do that as well. You should cover most eventualities. Secure your gear and board the boat when you're ready. Is this a, is it a dungeon or instance? I'm very curious now. You have piqued my interest in what's going on. If it says something unlocked, it's a dungeon. Uh. <laughs> Let the hunt begin. <laughs> His face. <sighs> it's a dungeon. We're doing a dungeon. I'm... Okay, so here's the thing. It's quicker to play with people, but because story dungeons have a chance of having dialogue with the characters, I'm going to be doing this with the trust system. Kinda sucks, cause I'm not gonna be playing with other people. You're gonna be seeing me do this nice and slow, but here's a good reason why I'm doing this. One, each character has dialogue in the dungeon, which will help give you a little context to the story. Also, it'll help me pr practice Gunbreaker a bit in dungeons, cause I'm not confident in my abilities. So let's do this. Aaronville, let me talk to you. We'll take the smaller boat to board this the big vessel with impunity. That was a... Kona decided to uh, decide the river route was too risky. But I wonder how the other claimants are planning to travel. All right, let's go. Hang over the NPCs. Wait, you're an tepid? Wait, 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 wait. You're a healer, and yet it's saying you could be any role? How weird. This is a level 91 dungeon. Wait, I'm actually curious. One second. I'm going to... Oh, okay, not that. I want to... Oh, okay. I'm, I'm doing this all wrong. Okay. Ihukatamu. With the two keystones, now one, and her father's historic journey pointing the way, Wakulmut sets her sights 
on the Moblin settlement perched above the waterfalls of Kazmauka. As my fortune would have it, the storm which passed through the region has collapsed the great staircase lead up to cliffs, leading leading the great resource, resourceful Aaronville to arrange an alternative route. A barge-like vessel pulled, uh, pulled up river by massive yet gentle puny. Brace yourself to fight not only the current, but an abundance of fierce wildlife as you forge. Okay. Okay, 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 we got this. Let's do this. Okay, everyone, don't let me down, please. Trial, you, you, okay. Welcome them up. Easily could be a tank because you are a warrior, but you're not, so let's do this. Register for duty. We're actually doing the dungeon this episode. I'm very curious to see what this dungeon looks like now. I really hope it turns to day, because I want to see this during the day, not the nighttime. Not gonna lie. So show me what it looks like. Like what this dungeon looks like. Let's do this. Alright, let's work up my gun breaker skills. There's both like ours up ahead. Could it be Zalja or oh gods? It's Baku Zasha. Forget who else is on the river right now. We have company. Alright, let's do this. Alize, I see a company over there. I see the pickle man's yet or It's a bit early for that, but I can pop it right now. Why not? So as a tank, uh this right here. It, oh, I used the wrong ability. I meant to use arm's length. If you use arm's length with a tank, you have an additional effect which will apply slow 20% to an enemy who has struck you. It does not work on bosses though, so don't try it. Man, I'm a bit rusty right now. I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. I haven't really played much and done my dailies. sure I take the least amount of damage and keep my allies as safe as possible. Oh, the rain's picking up. We're in for some rains, it seems. Yeah. Oh, wait. There's Baku Janja ahead of us. Be ready for anything. Uh-oh. The two cages in the back. He's gonna release them. Yes, come closer. We have something for you. A gift courtesy of the blessing, blessed siblings. Alright, this is gonna be fun. Right. I'll do you, and now I'm coming over here. Popper gain. Controlling immediately. Oh, that hurts. My alpha notes keep me up, man. Man, those move that Pikamancer has such a beautiful move set. Shame your armor is not as beautiful. Alright, now 
is your turn. Okay, I'm not going to bother using anything, it's just the last guy, and honestly, it's not that bad. Baku and Shasha are just staring at me. I'm going to stack up a cartridges because I got a feeling the boss is going to be ready as soon as we get done with this. Yeah, this is not going to as to plan. We'll just have to improvise. Wait, are you going to attack this? The boss. A frame of fair fight. See you upriver. If you make it that far. Crippling our boat was a cowardly move. Aravel, we're losing speed. Uh, so we're getting off. The harness is broken. I'm sorry, but let's pull over to the bank. We're not going anywhere until we can make repairs. Understood. See there, there's a route over land. We'll try and catch up with you later. Understood. Let's do this. Tank time. Yeah, that's the boss. I thought so. Okay. I have all cartridges. Immediately pop all the dots and everything I can on it. Come on, man. We got it. A prime community. Now. Pop. Now. And do it. Wait for it. Now. Cartridges. Wait, what are you doing? I don't know. Just follow my allies. Everything will be fine. Oh, it's actually pulling me a little. I'm getting out of that. That's not good. Damn it, I popped that too early. Are they targetable? No. Okay. Now they are. Everyone to me. Good, 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 good. We're doing it. Park will not move. I'm the tank. You're not. You're DPS. I'm... tanking right there. Riverside boots offending. Let me see how they look at least. They're not bad. Uh, item level? Let me see. Item comparison. They're the same. Okay. 
So now the dungeon after this will be I don't what after this will be loot that is better than mine. So no matter what, I will be wearing a new outfit after this. How's it way? How's it way? All right, well, follow me. We're going in the cave. Rich leaf tunnels. I'm only gonna do small pulls because, as we all know, NPCs don't deal the best amount of damage. Baby, don't suck at tanking. Your goal to keep them on you. Take that damage. Do not cry like a wimp. Let's do an AoE every now and then to make sure you redo. Okay. I could have that dot. I decided not to. Limit break level one is available. If Alize was with us, she would immediately use it. All right, I'm alive. That's all that matters. Well, there's more things that matter than me just being alive, but still. No, everyone to me. There we go. Face tanking. Good job, Alpha Node. I have a regain, but I'm not going to use it. No need to. Face some blasting zone. Beautiful. What was that? All right, we got a bracelet aiming, and oh, we're going up a ladder. Okay, so that's interesting. They finally made the dungeons instead of going in a straight path and falls. You can actually climb ladders now. That's a upgrade. Oh, what strange happenstance hath some more misfortune befell the eye vessel? Apologies for having to see for taking the long way around. Oh, thank you, thank you. Defeat the green jelly immediately. Voice the mountain, am I right? Wait, what? It just happened? I don't know what happened. What was that? Arms length, I need you. I don't know what that was. What are these things? Alright, I'm just gonna keep doing AoE for now. Alright, I got two cartridges. All I wanted. Oh, sorry, Alpha Note. You're sitting in a bad place. I know what I feel. I'm moving right now. Not wasting a cartridge. Not yet. I think a boss is up ahead. That's a big room. I got a feeling we're fighting one of our boss created these. The mini mimi mimi bots. Oh, so let me open my chat log. I don't look like anyone's really saying anything right now, so I'm gonna keep it open for now. The music for this dungeon isn't too bad. It's actually quite catchy. You. Now you. Yeah, that's right. Keep on me. Do not look at anyone else. Come on, baby. Alright, you're 
we're basically as good as dead. So I'm just gonna hold on to my cartridges again because I got a feeling there's a boss up ahead. I think I said it last time. Alright, up this ladder, which is a new function. Yay! What are you? A frog? No, it has a face there. It's a drowsy. I have no idea what you are. Now. That's what I was afraid of. Keep me up, Alpha Oh, that hurts. Give me. What was that? I'm gonna stay here. Ooh, the, the boss thing for this is really good. Wait, what? Um. Wait. Uh, yeah, let's move. This should do it. Split? Well, spit, my bad. I knew it. I'll be safe for now. Wait, Elfinote's dead. How did Elfinote die? My healer died. Oh, wait. I knew it. Oh, she has a phoenix down. Oh, so they don't automatically revive Time to redeem phoenix. myself. Oh, oh, oh. I... I'm shocked you died. Okay. Finger wraps of healing. So far I'm enjoying this dungeon. And I really like the boss battle music for this expansion. It's actually really nice. In fact, I think I like it more than Sh Endwalker. End Endwalker is okay, personally. Oh, look at that. That's where we were down there, wasn't it? Yeah, because that's our boat and that's where we came from. Right over there. Okay, so that they're still repairing it. You can see them too. Okay. Wow. They really put some work in these dungeons, didn't they? Look at that. Mm. Hey, guys. I wish you luck. Wait. No, okay, I thought there was another person down there, but it's just those two and those are posts. Okay. I was overthinking something, so I'm like, wait. Come on, baby, you want me? Come and get me. I'm gonna 
pop five on you. Why not? It's there. We can do it. You? You guys are doing great. Just keep me alive. That's all I want. I'll keep you safe. I am their punching bag. Good to pop that. Yeah, because I'm wasting the rest of that combo. Except look at all the dead enemies. Oh, that would explain why. Arm blank immediately. Just hit me. Alright, we still have those active. Good, good, good. Uh, where are you? Where's my tenacity stuff? Oh, there. I'll eat a flatbread for now. River's Breath Bracelet of Healing. Once again, a 650. Level 91. Bracelets and earrings and gloves. A lot of enemies are dead. Were those things that killed them, or are friends? end of the dungeon where are we facing also that is immediately where they're going to show up right there because that's a pier so after we kill this which is where all the there's some dead enemies back there too so let's see what it oh is it a mantis it looks like a the apollyon apollyon apex predator I fought you in Final Fantasy IX. 
Man, they really are inspired. Mapping the round. Now. Immediately popping this. Now. Goodbye. This is gonna hurt. Yeah, that hurt a little bit. I paid 15% of that damage. After you stay on me, bastard. Oh, they're fighting with us. They want him dead. So he's the one that's been killing them. Oh, they're dead. Oh, he's gonna eat their bodies and strengthen. Screwed up ones that do not miss grip again. Pop Aurora immediately. Look at me, don't look at them. Okay, that's uh. I'm gonna say, say, say. I'm not safe. Oh wait, pop this. What am I doing? That's a bit late now. Alright, what's gonna happen? mechanic too. I just earned Great Nebula. Oh. Uh, reduces damage. Okay, give me a second. Before we do anything, I'm gonna figure out what changes there are. Now you have a feeling already I can't find actions. Am I blind? I might be blind. Holy cow, I think I'm blind. Oh. 
Okay, so originally it was Nebula, which did 30% damage negation, and now it's Great Nebula. It does 40% extra damage negation, and increases maximum HP by 20%, and restores a small amount. Yeah, no, it restored 2,200. Okay. And what do I get? Twin Fangs. Hmm. Uh, let's see what they look like. Not bad. I would like to see the Gunblade personally, but again, that's at 665. That's not going to be for a while. But yeah, they're going to pull up over here. Okay, that was a pretty decent beginning dungeon, if I do say so myself. A beautiful landscapes, interesting bosses. That's a good way to start. With a new mechanic, for me at least, I don't know if it's in Savage or anything, with that tornado thing, keep moving. You have to keep your eyes on it and dodge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I like it, I like it. I didn't do that bad, I thought I did. Okay. Best tank? No. Decent tank? Yes. I will do my best to tank. I'm gonna take a sip of my drink. Is there gonna be dialogue? If so, am I gonna have to talk? Are you guys good? This is as far as we can go on foot, it seems. Okay, sweet, I can take a sip of my drink. I'll have to head back and see about fixing the boat. They're here. Yeah, I thought so. They're gonna pull, pull up here. Hey, everyone, all right? Uh, we just killed a giant prey mantis that was eating everything. who traversed were dug by the Yohoi in their search for gold. Remnants of their excavations we've found throughout the place. Well, I appreciate the lesson, though, wise guide. Are we oh, landing this boat anytime soon? Our river journey is almost over. For proof of that, you only need to look ahead. Impressive enough from a distance, but it's almost too much now. Yes, amazing. Oh, please let me off. <laughs> no, no more boats. She's done for a bit. Are you? Oh, you're not all right. <laughs> oh, no. I should be surprised if she was. Even without the nausea, we're all spent. There is a mountain shelter nearby, a resting spot for those who we who've ascended stairs. I suggest we use of it. That would be a welcome respite. That'd be the strength for a short walk. Walk, walk, walk them up. We can rest along the way too. is meant to lead from the front, not meow and moan like a sick kitten. Walk Lamont. Ignore me. Nausea talking. I'm fine. Ready. Lead on. I'll follow. Very well. But if I say... Well, if I might say one thing... Just because you're a promise or a claimant for the front throne doesn't mean you can't be seen to struggle. You needn't bear this burden alone, so please don't hesitate to talk to us. We're always willing to lend an ear. But cry a lie.
Hmm. Leaning on others is a skill all leaders require. You as well, Bader. Many times. I've always believed this is a my eye problem alone, but perhaps you have the right of it. Alright. I'll talk about things. Just give me a moment to collect my thoughts. Of course, as long as you need. We'll be waiting at the shelter when you're ready. Ah, is she gonna tell us her life story? What is that what's about to happen? Mm -hmm. Alright. Oh, hey, where do you come from, Ubigo Skipper? Tilio, you say I'm happy to take you there. No, I'm good. Let me see if the others are in here. So is this the shelter? Where are- Well, oh, whoops, not who I wanted. Where am I? Oh! I forgot to do those side quests. But here? Yeah, so we're going to many fires. Oh, many fires. Now the name makes sense because goblins. Or should I say moblins. Okay. All right, Wookie, how you doing? I've long felt that I could never tell anyone when I was confused or hunting, hurting. That admiring, admitting to weakness would bring shame to Papa's name. But if you say you're willing to listen, then there are things I like to talk about. Come on, let's catch up to the others. Oh, what wrong one? I'll do these quests next time. I completely forgot about. Oh, how far is it? And we're immediately going to find Fancy Nine. Ooh, this area is lovely. Different flora and fauna. I'm about to get attacked. I'm gonna outrun you. Man, I can't wait to fly. I still need to find my Aether Compass. I'll do that off screen. You don't need to watch me run around doing Aetherite crystals. Or Aether Currents, I mean, not crystals. Let's see, they got a shop there, a porter. The shop might have level 92 gear, if I had to guess, or 93. So I'm curious to check you out first. Also, do I need a mender? Not really, I haven't really done much. Let me see what you sell. You sell... Uh, no, I'm still level 90 gear and stuff, so... What's the gun blade look like? I I'm actually curious. Did I check it out last time? Oh, now I want it. Ah, oh, right, I did see it last time. It looks plain-ish, but then again, eh, I didn't expect too much from it. The design on it looks fine. There's a little green right here. Eh, it's fine. Alpaca, my paca. Which means, give me a second, you, and over there. Beautiful. Alright, let me talk to the alpaca keeper. Um, the town's right next to two really big enemies. Are they hostile? They are. Holy cow. Might want to take care of them. Kind of close. Alright. Diaper group chat. Now that I've decided to share, I feel so nervous. This place is called Mini Fires for the constant stream of peddlers and travelers who make camp here after climbing the stairs. Ah, okay, that makes sense. This side of the region is so different from where the Hanu live. The striking colors of the vegetation alone. Yeah, it reminds me of, um, give me a second. It reminds me of teleport. Um, I can't remember the name. It's been so long. Lakeland. Lakeland. It reminds me of Lakeland, where the parries and everyone are. Where everything's purple. 
This seems like a cozy spot for the walk remote to let her guard down. I know it can't be easy for her. Girl. We should stop here for the night. I understand the desire to rush ahead, but we need to recuperate from our punishing river adventure. Then let's sell in. We need a cook fire, and there's a meal preparation to be done. And there's meal preparation in bed. Not a meal preparation. Alright, I got a feeling if this is an important cutscene, it might be voiced. I've been meaning to ask, yeah. but how does one become the adopted child of the Dawn Servant? I swear if it's something like he killed my parents, I I doubt, was though. but a ball of fuzz at the time, so I don't remember much. My earliest memories are of life in the palace. All I know is that I was born in Ikbrash, a village in Yaktel. But I've never bothered to return there. As far as I'm concerned, Ulul Jaja is my only parent. I quite understand. I have no memories of my birth parents either. For a while, I wanted to learn who they were. But over time, that curiosity waned. Galif was my dear grandfather, and he was all I needed. So our situations were quite similar. Even though Papa already had a trueborn son, he raised me and Kona with no less love. One time, <laughs> I'd wandered off alone into the forest and gotten lost. Before I became a meal for some beast, Papa dropped everything and came to my rescue. I was scared and sobbing and ready for a scolding. But the Head of Resolve praised me for surviving the ordeal. I did get my lecture from the Head of Reason, though. He went on and on about the dangers of the jungle and all the horrible ways I could have died. <laughs> Growing up, Papa was kind and patient, but a tyrant when it came to training. Now, of course, I realize he was preparing me for my duties as a promise. For all the good it did. There's so much I failed to learn about my own country. Whether it's alpacas or ihihana, I hardly know anything. And yet you're willing to learn and embrace I've the lived culture. i such a sheltered life. Yet convinced myself I understood Tural and its people. I don't have Kona's education or Zoralja's strength. I'm all bluff and bravado. Not fit to bear my title. Ooh. I mean, I already said that for the Jewel Maker, if you remember. So, actually, I'm going to say this. Why do you want the throne? She already said you want peace, but why do you really want the throne? Why? Because my father built a nation where everyone can live in peace. And I want to keep it that way. Hmm. I... I think I see what you're saying. Well, I asked a question. I really said My anything. reasons for joining the contest have nothing to do with my brothers. It's always been about the Turali and what I can do for them. There we go. You said it yourself. How important it is to properly know something. To hear the voices of others, empathize with how they feel, and think how best to serve. In so doing, you'll come ever closer to being the person you wish to be. I'm sorry, everyone. I've been a fool. From this moment on, I'll stop trying to be the promise I'm not. 
I won't faint strength to hide my weaknesses. Step by step, I'll learn all there is to know and love about Tuli Hyolal and my fellow Turali. Feels like your father. It might not be the smoothest path, but it'll be a path of my own making. Well, except the weakness part. You're just like your father. I will find a city of gold for all of us, along with the answers you seek about your grandfather, Kryl. I swear. I appreciate it, Wuklamart. But you needn't take on that burden as well. One second. So, if anyone's played Final Fantasy V, and yes, it's actually really good Final Fantasy. Not the best one, but it's a pretty good one. If you play the story of V, uh, you start the party with a few characters, and one's Galuf, who is, of course, a swordsman, who is, I believe, a king. He is a king, I believe. I'm trying to remember this on top of my head. Later on, you meet his granddaughter, Kryl. Now what happens, Galuf, in the end, ends up sacrificing himself to save the party, Bartz, and... Sarah? And basically, Kryl inherits all the abilities of her grandfather, so... What I'm thinking is... The way that... The Dawn Servant was saying, it sounded like he's already gone. Her grandfather already passed. That's what I'm thinking, is her grandfather's already gone. There might be a chance we meet him, but then he'll end up sacrificing himself, because 14 takes inspiration from all Final Fantasies, and there's a little bit of 5 right now, a little bit of 9, and I see hints of 10 in some of the buildings, but only small hints, personally. Yeah, I, I don't... I think we all know he's not alive and during this journey Kral's gonna figure it out but yeah eh, I'm gonna you know you don't need to stop hear me talk anymore Galuf Baldessian dedicated his life to protecting people from all manner of threats that he did as his granddaughter I wouldn't wish to endanger others for the sake of a personal investigation so let's just concentrate on winning the contest we have a shared goal, and, if at all possible, I'd rather we enjoy the journey. Hmm. If only the journey is going to probably end peacefully, here, I don't here. think it is. We are companions on the same road, bound for the same destination. With our combined talents, nothing will stop us from reaching the Golden City. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Well, friends with benefits. Benefits for you, benefits for me. But also, Aaronville. Oh, well, he's smiling, so he's happy. He was left out of the conversation, but in the last expansion, he was kind of a lonesome dude. Oh, the second promise, which would be Kona. So this is going to be Thancred and Arianj. Thank you. Thank you all. I am proud to call you my friends. Ah. Wow, oh, they're in eardrop distance. They seem to be enjoying themselves. Are you sure you don't want to go and say a word to your sister? Nay, there is no need for that. Uh, but what of you two? Wuklamat's allies are your comrades. It must feel strange to be rivals. Helping you has made us rivals, I. But we're not about to break into fisticuffs over it. Anchorage's voice actor sounds different. Unless, of course, it is a matter of winning or losing the contest. Then I'll have no qualms about putting Alizé on her rear. Hmm. Yeah, he does sound different. Despite our long history, never have I been given the chance to test myself against our companions. The thought stirreth within me a most unexpected sense of competition. <laughs> Lamachi has surrounded herself with distinguished figures indeed. One of the studium's finest graduates, the head of the students of Bardesian. 
And then, there's Eorzea's vaunted champion. I wonder who that is. If he's half the hero you say, then the odds are stacked against us. Not that I have any intention of bowing out. Our time in Urkelpacha only served to strengthen my resolve. We saw how a single storm cut off the alpaca roots and threw my people's lives into disarray. Such uncertainties are why I advocate for the adoption of Charlian innovations, that Tuli Yolal might know greater stability and prosperity. Our nation can change for the better. And I will be the man to change it. Well, it's a start. I imagine your experiences on this journey, all the things you'll hear and feel and think, will help you refine that approach. You sound extremely different, Thancred, personally. I don't know. Hmm. But to return to the subject of the right, I'm a touch concerned by the condition for victory. The claimant who breaks the seal becomes Dawnserd, not the one who performed the seven feats first. Yeah, so it doesn't matter who does it first, it's who breaks the seals. The would-be victor need only possess the seven keystones. That is correct. As the contest wears on, we must brace ourselves for greater conflict. Mm. Yeah, because the warmonger and the other guy are going to be around and they're probably going to... Yep, first promise, warmonger. We're going to see everyone's perspective during the night. Peace. Now, unlike the others, though, he's actually in a building. Your rivals still lag behind. The second and third promise may have recruited competent lackeys, but none compared to you. Hmm. <laughs> How can they hope to compete with the resilient son? The only child ever sired by a two-head. Only the ignorant or foolish could fail to see that you were born to be Dawn's servant. Blood has nothing to do with it, man. Such titles mean nothing. You have to earn the titles. They mean otherwise they're just uh, words. I neglected to mention. When I first heard the rumors that the contest involved the Golden City, I spoke in confidence with Gulul Jaja's inner circle. They all agreed on one thing. Whoever reaches the City of Gold will attain a power so great it can dictate the course of history. If this power truly exists, Ooh. then I humbly beg a fair share of it. Okay. Um, I think I can figure out how he's going to lose. This guy's going to backstab him, feed him info to Gulu, uh, to the, the uh, two-headed one that we're going against. Because, as you see, he wants to share the power. He's going to say no. Neither he's already working with him, or he's going to backstab him. But I think that's a, that's how he might lose. See, I'm thinking for the future here. He might be working with him already, because we already saw in the other mission, when he wants to steal the float, there's people already work undercover spying for him, so maybe he's also a spy, but I don't know. Just a thought. Time is passing, and I would put my plans in motion without delay. The useless tool is cast aside, after all. Which is? And just so there is no misunderstanding, you consent to this course, no matter who is made to suffer. What course? What are we talking about here? In battle, everyone bleeds. The Dawn's promise is no exception. Oh, he's thought the... Okay. What better lesson to teach our people the folly of war? You're about to take your brother and sister out. 
your adopted brother and sister. Yeah, he's smiling. He's a crooked one. Yeah, I think he is a spy. I'm thinking he is going to get backstabbed. Yeah, Bakul Jaja. That's his name. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, this guy is crafty and conniving and is evil and should definitely not win. Uh, I was hoping for a good scrap, but this bloated sack of bile was no challenge at all. Hmm. I wonder if the house cat is dead yet. Yeah, she died. It's sad, I know. Be a shame to lose a plaything, but we'd still have two more. <laughs> if I may ask, Chosen One, what are your plans for Tuliola after you take the throne? Plans? What makes you think we get about all that? We care only about the contest and proving our superiority. So the problem here is they don't care about ruling or the throne. That they just want to prove. Please, mother and father. Mm. Okay. Yes. And when we become Dawn servant, we'll drive out the weakling masses and invite our king to live in the city. <laughs> Fine idea. Our family deserves better than that rotten jungle. But do it then. We must catch up to that one-headed pretender and remind him of the natural order. <sighs> I made it. <laughs> Uh-oh, he's dead. I thought we were missing someone. Where have you been? He's gonna kill him. Oh, I feared I was done for when I fell from the boat. <laughs> Yet, somehow I made it. <laughs> oh, my arms. I can barely lift them. If, if no, I just no, 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 no. <laughs> he's a dead. This is one of those you scenes... Us to wait for you? Yeah. Those who can't keep up will be left behind. Yeah, that's gonna be one of those scenes in a video game where the devs are like, we're gonna show you who the bad guy is and make you hate him. He's gonna kill his own subjects. Just you watch, he's gonna do just that. My brother has spoken. March, or be father for the beasts. But I followed the teachings. Everything I've done, everything I've sacrificed, all has been for the blessed siblings. They're willing to leave their own. Wait. Don't leave me behind. I'm begging you. Yeah, they don't care about their servants or allies. They just care about sending them thrown the matter what. And they don't have a plan, as you just heard. Oh, this might be a good time to actually end this episode. We did a dungeon and everything, and we saw more into the people. Into the da the uh, promises. And that jerk. Kryl, I'm glad we could take a moment to talk things through. Walkle Mutt seems much happier for it. Aaronville, it's good to see Walkle Mutt more sure of herself. Alize, doesn't matter if Walkle Mutt's scared of alpacas or gets sick of boats. Doesn't change who she is or what she means to her people. Oh, no. I have some small experience with the uh, pressures of leadership and crumbling beneath its weight. Yeah, Heaven's Ward, as you know well. Well, I remember a little bit. I'm flaky on all the story, honestly. I have to redo it one day if people want to see it. I'm not gonna redo it for no reason, really, because I want to go back and spend time doing this so I can play other games, but if people want to see it, I will do it. If anything good could be said that have come from my, of my failures, I hope it I hope it is in my capacity to help others avoid similar mistakes and welcome them on. Being able to say those things uh, has brought me such relief. It's like a stone has been lifted off my chest and I can take a full breath at last. I don't want to encumber myself like that again. I want to be better, will be better for myself and my people. Oh, and okay, I can finally enter that dungeon with the trust system. Okay, so let me explain the trust system if anyone's still watching. I have to level them up, I know. Oh, oh wait, oh, we got more. We got Kryl, and okay, we got Kryl now, she's been added. So the trust system is an NPC system of which you can bring NPCs in the dungeons. 
Ignore her. She's of no importance in this expansion or last expansion. So, uh, basically, you could bring the NPCs into certain dungeons of an expansion. As long as they're that level, you can bring them. They get XP and they unlock outfits when you... What am I hearing? Oh, gatherer. My bad, you continue. But yeah, they level up. They have an experience bar. And they will level up. So, by the looks of it, uh, Yastrola can go to level 90, maybe? Or 100, I mean? Um, but yeah, so all this, you can do dungeons with NPCs, even old dungeons, but that's under a different system called duty support. Here, I would not recommend doing these under duty support. I would do them under trust so you can level them up. So Shadowbringers and Walker Dawn Trail, do not do them under duty support, do them under trust so you can level up your companions. Stormblood, Heaven's Ward, or Realm Reborn, you can do them under this system. Satasha, look, it's just random people who are quest gift like adventurers. But yeah, these three do them under duty support. These three do them under trust, so you can level them up. You can do it under it without trust, even do just to do it, but I would not recommend doing it. But yeah, I'm gonna end it here. And now we're basically 36 minute video. We had a dungeon finally. We also had some story. Honestly, I'm liking what's happening right now. Nebula has an upgrade, which is really cool. Let me see what my next upgrade is. I'm gonna spoil myself. Here we go. My next upgrade is at level 96. It cannot be assigned to my hotbar. Can only be executed when ready raised. Faded brand. Attack delivered attack potency of 120. Oh, it's gonna replace Demon Slice, isn't it? And then Noble's Blood. Well, honestly, I don't know. Give me a second. Traits. Enhanced rampart. Rampart. Oh. It's an additional effect to Rampart that increases HP recovery via actions on self by 15%. Melee Mastery increases the potency of everything, which is very nice. Enhanced Contunation becomes ready to raise after executing Faded Circle. So this will have two procs instead of one. Oh, I don't have Reprisal. One second. I knew I was missing something. I'll put that there for now. And Shark is right there. Okay, good. Enhanced Repraisal, uh, extended duration by 15 seconds? Oh, two 15 seconds. Because right now it's 10, so next are 5. Then Blood Fest. Man, I'm going to end this one here. I am happy with my progress in this episode. Really am. Glad we finally got a dungeon done. Will I grind it? No, but I will do the trust system with my other classes, probably Viper and Pictomancer, level them up and level them up because uh, I didn't really do the trust system last expansion. And so if you see, um, uh, okay, Alpha Note's 86, Alice's 86, Thancred's 85, Around Jay's 86, Gestola's 86. Stinian's 83 and Grahatia is 84. Last expansion, Shadowbringers, I got them all up to 80. It wasn't until. I can show you the battle, but I'm not gonna do it. I basically got burnt out right here. The Seat of Sacrifice, which honestly had one of the best battle themes ever. If you remember what I said earlier, I've been mad a while for a few expansions because they've been changing Astro, which was my favorite healer in Stormblood. And before, and they changed Astro to something I absolutely hated and I've been mad for a while. And well, when I did that, I finally got sick of the game and took a break. And let's just say I'm not mad anymore. I'm just not going to play it. I'm a... Yeah. Wait, well, yeah, I'm happy. I will do my dailies with Sage, though, for quick cues. I'm going to do my MSQ with Gunbreaker, which is 92, baby. But I will see you next time. Will we do Emmett more MSQ? I honestly can't wait, because I actually am enjoying the story. I've been seeing people complain, and, man, I keep bringing things up that make me ramble a little longer. And I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to hear it. 
I've been hearing people complain. The MSQ is slow. I don't like it. I don't like Wakla Mug. I'm gonna say this now. I like her way more than Lise. I like her character. I don't find her annoying. Lise, I found absolutely annoying and hate everything about her. This story is a slow burn. Wanna know why? We're in a completely new location, the new world. And we're learning slowly about the people, locations, everything that makes them different from each other. When something big's gonna go down, which it is, there's gonna be more than what who is gonna be the Dawn Servant. I'm telling you now, I don't know personally. I've been staying blind this entire thing, but there's more than just who's gonna be the Dawn Servant. There's gonna be big things that go down, I feel. And it's gonna make you feel more invested when things go down. Honestly, cannot wait. Also, I'm sorry, that's annoying me. I gotta switch these two because one's more important than the other. All right, I'm happy. But yeah, I'm gonna see you next time. And we'll talk to Aaronville and start the leaking work pot. That's a name of a quest, which gives you a weapon coffer of 655. Hate to say it, I'm still good with my weapon. Wait, I'll see you next time. I might get rid of these. Maybe I'll hold on to them. But until then, I'll see you later. And goodbye, good night, and see you later. And well, see ya.